In this video, we will be looking at the topic of measurements, grade 10 to 12. This is relevant for all the grades and specifically on building material. Okay, let's dive right into this. A typical question that you could expect in the exam, right, would be something like how many, um, how many of something do I need? especially for building. So I have here a picture of a room with tiles. So they would say, okay, how many tiles do I need to tile this floor, right? Or they could ask you, how many bricks do I need to build a brick wall? Or similarly, how many stones? I want to cover this area around the patio. Okay, another type of material is carpet, rugs. So, what size carpet do I need? Okay, so let me fill in here. This is for bricks, tiles, what size carpet, stones, etc. Now, a typical way that you could approach this question is let's look at the size or the picture of the big object. So, this would be the room, the floor, whatever. And they ask you, okay, how many tiles? How many tiles can I fit? into this room. Now, you could count. <laughs> it would take a while, but you could count. The problem is, um, in the exam, these pictures are not drawn to scale. That's your only problem, okay? So, let's find another way. We could find the size of the big area. So, the size of the room, the size of the big area, yeah, let me let me write big area. The size of the room, the floor, the wall, whatever they need. Okay, room, wall, floor. And how would you find this size? So I want to know how big is this area here, the whole area? Well, I'm giving you the answer. <laughs> You're basically looking for the area, right? Not surface area, just basic plain area. And then next, you would find typically the size of the small uh, object, of one of the small objects. So one tile, one brick, right? Because you want to know how many of those small guys will fit in there. So once one square meter of carpet. And if I want to find the size of this, okay, let me draw it here. Maybe it's two by one or whatever. That's length times width, right? And that reminds you of area, the area of a rectangle. So in essence, I'm also looking for the area of the small object. So now I have the area of the big object and the area of the small object. And if I wanna know how many can fit in there, I'm gonna say the big one divided by the small object. So that would be your third step basically, right? You would say the large area, the floor, divided by one small object, the small area, or the small object. So it would be the, num the answer number one divided by the answer in number two. And you would be done, that's the answer. Much easier than counting actually. Okay, let's put this into practice though. I know you're thinking this could be a little confusing. Let's put it into practice. So here's an example. Lulu wants to build a brick wall. There's the brick wall. And in this example, they're giving us the size of one brick. I wonder why. Okay, Lulu wants to build a brick wall around the size of seven by two meter in her courtyard. I'm going to underline seven by two meter. That should be important. That's the size of this big guy. Length and width. How many bricks does she need to buy? Now let's follow our steps, right? We want to know how many bricks. I can't count them. So I'm going to say, okay, what's the size of the brick wall? So firstly, the area of the wall that she wants to build, the large area. And that's 7 by 2. It's length times width because it's a rectangle. And that's going to be okay, 7 times 2. And it gives you 14 square meters. You don't even need a calculator. Let me just write that properly. 
Next is the area of one brick. Now, don't get confused, right? I'm not looking at surface area, so I don't want to know what's at the back or the side. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at a 2D model, the face of the brick, so the front. I want to know how many of these guys could I pack in next to each other. So I'm only looking for the length and the width. So go to your picture. This 190, that's fine for me. And then what's the size here on the side? Well, it's the same for all these three sides. It's 80, okay? So I've got 80 on the side, millimeters, and 190 there. So this 90 is just there to confuse me. I'm not looking at a 3D model. I'm just looking at this area in red, okay? Now, what, I'm, what I need to do to find the area of a brick is length times width. And I know you're noticing the same thing. The units, right? Do you see? Can you notice that the units are different? Let me make a note. Your units need to be the same. So I could either change the millimeter to meters now, or I could do it in a later step. It doesn't matter, you'll get the same answer. Let me show you how to do it in a later step, because that's going to give you some extra info. Okay. So let's say 190 times 80 millimeters, and that gives you the answer of 15,200 millimeters. Remember, since it's area, I need to square that area. So now let me make the units the same. So this is just the extra little step. Let me say, if I want to go from millimeters squared all the way to meters, what am I going to do? Typically, I would say I would divide by a thousand, right? Since it's millimeter to meters. But because I have that little two and I'm working with area, I'm going to have to say add a little two there at the top as well. Okay. I just wanted to show you that. That's why I put this step in later. So. Let's change the 15,200 millimeters squared. Put it in your calculator, divide it by 1,000 squared, and you will get an answer of 0, 0,0152. And it will be, like we said, meters squared. Okay, let's not lose sight of where we are. We finished step one, we finished step two. We now have the units, or we have the answers in the same units. We have 14 square, and we have 0 0.0152 square meters. So what do we do? What's our third step? We divide. We say the area of the wall divided by the area of one brick. So it's the onset number one, which is 14 squared meters divided by the answer that we got at number 2 after we converted it, 0, 0.0152 square meters. And you'll find that the units actually cancel out, right? They cancel, because you're dividing. It's a little extra info. And you find an answer of 921. You can round it off, it's 921. And this is bricks. This is number of bricks. Because I wanted to know how many bricks can fit in here. So yeah, you would be counting for a while, but anyway, there is your answer. Thank you for joining. Remember to like, share, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.